guys, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy. This time I'm doing the Valentine's Day book tag, which was created by Joe at Joe Reads Books. And I know Valentine's Day was like a week and a half, two weeks ago, but I wanted to do this tag anyway, so I'm going to do it. And I, I don't want to wait another year to do this tag, basically. I'll forget. I love these questions. They're really complicated, so nice variety to them. For this tag, I try to not use the same books that I keep using over and over and over again in every tag book list and top five Wednesdays. So these ended up mostly being classics because apparently those are the books I like that I haven't talked about yet. <laughs> Go figure. Question one is your favorite couple ever. You want to have their relationship. And for this I picked Fanny and Edmund from Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. It, they're just so cute together and they know each other so well and it's their relationship between the two of them is really easy. It's just the complications between them, like, trying to date other people and not admitting that they like each other. But I love them. Edmund is just smart and kind, and they just accept each other as they are. It's great. I'm not saying I want to marry my cousin or anything like that, but I just love the, the way that their relationship works. It's very sweet. Hmm. Question number two, a relationship that never happened. You wanted them to get together, but they never did. For this, I picked Esmeralda and Quasimodo from The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. I'm going to blame the Disney movie for making me ship them so much, because I watched that so many times before I even read the book. But I think Quasimodo just gets the short end of the stick, period. It's, yes, he's forced to live in a bell tower all by himself. When he does run into people, they're frightened and mean to him. And Esmeralda is the other one who's nice, basically, to him, just because she can be. And he's so shit to do with them together, but it never really happens. So. Yeah. Looks pretty tragic, but that relationship, man. Why, why couldn't we even have small taste? <laughs> okay, question three. Your crush, any character. So I picked... Joe's husband, Professor Bear, from Little Women by Louise Malcott. I think that's his name. Anyway, I just like the professor. He's really kind and intellectual and just... I don't know. I know we don't see him very often, and I know Laurie's like everybody's favorite, and I do love Laurie, but I like the professor more. I... I it just is, guys. It just is. Worst relationship. A couple you wanted to break up because the characters were awful, deceitful, abusive, etc. Uh, Catherine and Heathcliff from Withering Heights by Emily Bronte. Those two are just so awful that I didn't even finish reading the book. But I, I, I don't like them. Just I can't stand the two of them at all. Just no. That is not not romantic. <laughs> Uh, question five, your favorite love triangle. For this, I have Emma, Gem, and Tessa from the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. I just, I love the three of them. That triangle, like all, all sides of that triangle, anywhere that would have, would have gone down would have made me happy, including Will and Gem together. Like, they just, they love each other so much, which is like the heart of this love triangle. Like, they don't bicker and fight. They're not jealous. Not a lot of jealous, and they're willing to sacrifice their own happiness for the others to be happy. I, 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 I adore them, guys. I really do. Just, I love them so much. And number six, your favorite tragic love story. Like Romeo and Juliet. No spoilers. And a couple whose relationship was tragically cut short. For that, I have the relationship in The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Um... Hester and her her baby daddy. I don't remember if it's a spoiler or not who she who's the baby's daddy is, but um if she could have just been with him, then there would have been no problems. But she, they lived in Puritan England and she couldn't be with her baby daddy. So she gets stuck with the scarlet letter on her. Her daughter is a, a bastard. There's just so much of guilt and accusations and just the whole the whole mess in this book is because the two of them can't be together that that's yeah 
So there are my answers to the Valentine's Day book tag, which was created by Joe Reed's Books. If you want to do this tag, go ahead and do it. It's the end of February. I'm not going to be like, hey guys, it's Valentine's Day tag. Happy Valentine's Day. Because that's... Not everybody's crazy like me. Anyway. Um, yeah. Peace out. I love you guys. And keep reading. Bye.